Plumbing a street or track car is a great do-it-yourself project, but there is a lot of options available and you may have some questions about what type of hose to use, which ends to pick, how to route it properly and how to assemble it correctly. Well, to make sure we get it right, we've enlisted some help from Earl's Plumbing. Plumbing through the Earl's catalogue for the first time can be a little bit intimidating. There's a lot of different hoses and fitting types to choose from, but once you've decided what it is that you'll be using it for, it's pretty easy to pick the right stuff. When you think of race hose, you think of braided stainless. Earl's offers two kinds, the former flex and auto flex. Both types have a synthetic rubber inner liner designed for temperatures up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and they're compatible with most fuels, coolants, and lubricants. The big difference between them is that Performer Flex has a stainless steel inner braid, while Autoflex uses a textile inner braid. Pro Light 350 hose is a lighter alternative to braided stainless, with the same fluid compatibility and temperature range, but an outer liner made of durable nylon. It uses the same type of hose ends as Performer Flex and Autoflex hose. For situations that don't call for a braided line, Earl's offers Superstock Hose. It's a synthetic rubber hose compatible with most fluids, rated to 250 degrees. It's been reformulated for better acceptance of pump gas and it has its own specific ends. If you need a hose that's resistant to practically any fluid and pressures as high as 2000 psi, then Speedflex is the right choice. It uses a Teflon liner and braided stainless sheath. It has its own special Speedflex hose ends, but it can be assembled with hand tools. Finally, the ultimate in race car plumbing is Earl's Ultraflex 650. It's Teflon lined and comes in either a woven Kevlar braid, which is 60% lighter than braided stainless, or a 304 stainless braid, which is 40% lighter than regular braided stainless. Both resist temperatures up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Ultraflex 650 requires special crimping tools to assemble, so it's intended for professional racing teams. Now that we've seen the differences between these hose types, let's take a look at how to cut and assemble them properly to get a leak-free seal. It's not hard at all, you just have to use the right tools and take your time. To assemble braided stainless and pro-light hose, first wrap the hose tightly with tape and cut with a fine tooth hacksaw or cutoff wheel. Trim any stray wires, then remove the tape. Place the fitting socket in a vise and insert the hose until it bottoms out against the threads, then gently pull it back 1 16th to 1 8th inch. Mark the hose with a pen so you can tell if it gets pushed out during assembly. Lubricate the inside of the hose, the cutter threads and the socket threads, then put the nipple in a vise. Holding the hose, push the hose and the socket onto the nipple until the threads can be started by hand. Start the threads and go as far as you can by hand. Then tighten the socket with a wrench until the socket is within six hundredths of an inch of bottoming out. Check to make sure the hose hasn't backed out more than a sixteenth of an inch. Pressure test the assembly and you're done. Superstock hose and ends go together with just a sharp knife. Cut the hose to length, slip a collar over the end and make a mark on the hose at the back of the collar. Lubricate the hose and nipple. Press fit it into the hose end until it bottoms out and it's ready to use. Speedflex hose gets cut with a hacksaw or cutoff wheel. After deburring the Teflon liner and cleaning up any stray strands, slip the socket over the hose with the threaded end toward the cut. Then separate the braid from the outside of the tube and install the sleeve between the two. Bottom the tube against the shoulder of the sleeve and make sure it's square. Oil the nipple threads and start the socket by hand. With the socket in the vise, tighten the nipple with a wrench until the gap between the face of the socket and the hex of the nipple is 23 thousandths to 46 thousandths of an inch. Assembling your own hose is not as complicated as it might seem, and Earl's online catalogue on their website is full of useful technical information to make any plumbing job easy. Make sure you check out our video where we show you how we use Earl's parts and expertise to get the fuel system on our all-air Camaro plumbed right.